what is up blockchain gang we are playing some crypto ball z today figured out a few tips and tricks some advice i just got to take care of a little business first and we can get to it got any questions that was a big one right yeah that was like double what i usually get. all right i get another one no let's craft these guys up i do have some extra commanders so i could craft some higher level of these guys but I'm actually waiting until this one expires. I'm gonna craft as many as I can just to get by. And when this expires, I'm gonna use my second commander. So I have two commanders active at one time for like an hour. And then I'll just build all the drones I can. I should push 2200 real quick. I'm actually uh, sandbagging. I'm not really rank 4307, yeah. But it doesn't really matter. If you're not first, you're last. And what I mean by first is like the first 100. So you get your rank rewards and you get a nice little chunk of Herco and then a bunch of stones for being in the top 100. And then it drops down in the top 20% to 80,000. Pretty much impossible for me to fall that low. So I'm just riding it out, you know, kind of conserving my Herco and my hero stones and all of that goodness. Instead of squandering it on this season, I'm going to roll that over into the next season when everybody's just exhausted, you know, from just running for two weeks straight. And to make sure I max out my drone, I just turn the boss option off and exhaust. I don't really exhaust all 300, but maybe like 200 or so. Enough to where I can match one hero, which is like a thousand and twelve novices. Yeah, like I could probably push 22, especially when I do these upgrades, but I'm not really that worried about it. I mean, it doesn't really matter what place you're in. It really only matters what place you finish in. That's one of the um, techniques. You can see the damage distribution at the bottom of the screen there. And if you go into each individual hero, you can get an idea of what their attack patterns are as well as what they upgrade to. See, this guy just attacks in a circle around him, and he does get quite a bit more range, but he's not upgraded that high yet. So, of course, to match that, I've got him up front and center where he's just blasting people right out the gate. If he was back here, he wouldn't really do anything. Same thing with this robot arm guy. He shoots this little short-range guy. You could even, like, direct him, but I found best one to do something like that is with the constant stream like here I feel like I'm playing that uh, gladius and it's like I don't even really want to upgrade these guys that much because I know I'm gonna eventually replace them with better upgraded super rares and SSRs I guess super secret rares I don't know tell me in the in the chat if you know what the extra s stands for but you're kind of based on rng here damn it mouse i know you don't work and you can see like my guys aren't upgraded so they're not even that strong compared to these guys who have been super evolved I have a shitload more stats what sucks is you cannot upgrade these folks any further until you get another copy of them unfortunately but if I'm not mistaken, I should be able to upgrade this guy now and evolve. Evolve. You need evolve stones. Quite a bit, actually. Now let's see what you got. HP. It's cheap. Oh, shit. Fucking finger. You gotta watch it. I did not mean to do that, but it's done now. Congratulations. You are a tank. Got a little, little heavy handed there, a little heavy fingered. Let's see, we got some quests to accept here. Okay, I'll take it. Get to combine some more heroes. All right, let's do some more combine in here. Wish me luck. Big money, that's a joker. Joker. All right, what do we got here? I forgot gold isn't the good one. Purple's pretty good. Another dice man. See, I've been really sandbagging water. Purposefully 
not upgrading any water heroes. So I would have just a crap ton. And once I get an SR or an SSR that's water, such as good old Dice Man here, I could evolve him quite a bit and burn this 13 million uh, water. But I don't think one evolution is going to be good enough because that will give him the increased crit damage. I think I'm going to need one to at least be super evolved. So I won't dismiss this character because if I get two more, I think I could super evolve. Two or three. And a lot of upgrade stones. I'm not sure. And once you super evolve, it accesses this menu where you definitely pump up the volume with the damage, damage reduction, and armor negation, which is really important for the boss fights. I think. I have no clue. I don't know. I can never figure out why, but it will have a one under it if you could channel a hero. Sometimes it lets me do it, sometimes it doesn't, doesn't matter. But whenever it has a one under it, under the picture here, you know, right under there, it, it will it will let you channel it, which will really boost its power. See this guy, you can tell I can't channel anything because there's zeros under it. I'll prove it, because you people don't believe me. But there we go. When you get a hero and you're able to channel it, just freaking channel it. That way, if you max out that hero stats, you can always level up the channeled hero stats. Yeah, the channel E, the channeler. I don't know what the hell to call them. That's the thing. With the seasonal game, everything you invest to get farther into that season has to be subtracted, you know, from your earnings. So if you're investing in something that's permanent or it lasts for multiple seasons, it seems like you'll get a much better value. Oops. Turn that guy off. Damn it. Well, maybe I should push the last 240 waves. If you go to Artifact Draw, you can watch five videos to get five free summons every day. Keep in mind, you don't get a bonus for summoning 10 at one time. It's just nine less clicks. Yeah, and, and that's it. If you use the gold tokens, you get... A chance to narrow down the potential rewards so it's more likely you'll get one for the hero you desire or for example if you were running like a mainly wind heroes like four wind heroes you would might get better draws out of the wind artifacts but these gold medallions are a lot harder to come by than the silver ones ten banger you can get the gold items as well. Each one of these items has... You asshole. I click. Mother. You can get a super rare mystery artifact. Secret rare. I don't know. Whenever you do 250. Pretty easy to do within a season. I don't know if you will get another opportunity to do one when this is completed. Because this is my first one. Perhaps it will be 500 or go up or something like that. I don't know. You can also watch 12 ads to boost production here. No, I'm sorry. To boost your autoplay for 30 minutes at a time. I don't have to do that since I bought the permanent premium speed up. I'll talk about that when we get to the store. But this will double your speed by watching up to 12 videos a day. 12 videos a day for 6 hours? Tw I don't know. It's 12 or 24. I, I didn't want to watch 30 videos a day. I wanted to play a game. So I was, I was okay. What that autoplay does is automatically combine my heroes for me. And even if you don't purchase anything, it will combine them for you. It just does it like four times faster or like 10 times faster, 20 times faster. I don't know. Then we have this little guy who actually boosts the rate at which this ball down here spits out novice heroes. And you can boost it up times five i've got super premium so instead of being at like 0.5 it goes up times two but it's very weird oh that hurt my ears i'm sorry about that once you summon all of your heroes you get so many per day it's drastically going to slow it down it says it doesn't slow it down if i have super premium but it's definitely going slower than it was when i had heroes maybe what it means is that if i didn't have super premium it would just stop you know, altogether it wouldn't do anymore. But since I have super premium, it's just slowed down. Premium uh, is uh, limit. Damn it! Stop. 
bad. Uh, you have to purchase it every 30 days for, I think, $15. So it's like breaks out to 50 cents a day. I definitely wanted to try it, even though I didn't have any hopes of winning this first season with so many people playing, so many whales and everything in the game. Uh, yeah, they're way up there. Like, even if I went try hard mode and only spent on the, the auto combine and super premium and on nothing else, I'd probably only be at like rank wave 3000 or so. And you can see these people getting up to like five and 6,000. These people have had to invest, and I'll show you what I mean by that. To get it this early in the season, whenever you have these artifacts, each one has a name of a hero. This is Gray's hat. It's not just a gray hat. This is Raven's balloon poodle. It's not your balloon poodle. Keep your hands off. This is Kai's tea set. I don't know why Kai carries a tea set with him. I think that'd be pretty fragile when you're fighting alien invaders, but what do I know? I'm not a superhero. But anyway, you see the drift here. These are like the shit artifacts. They boost you up, okay, your attack, defense, and HP, but if you have equipped to Tora, because it's Tora's golden chest piece, um, she'll get extra damage, 25%, all types, crit rate, plus 15%, gold re reward upon stage clear, 10%. So you want to try to equip the best items you can on your best heroes by name so they get that extra buff however these are so much better like instead of 50 percent attack and 50 percent hp it's giving 250 percent attack and 100 percent. so even if i don't get this buff which is pretty badass you know to wood and crit damage this is still going to be much better on somebody who would only have one of these buffs. Now this is where it gets a little sketchier. You can see the buffs are not as good. And sometimes the exclusive buffs on the normal ones will more than make up for the buffs that you granted when you don't have the right artifact on somebody. So you have to actually kind of compare those two side by side and maybe even equip both of them, one of them, and then look at your power and then equip the other one and see what that does to your power score overall. Because those team-wide modifiers can make a huge difference in your overall uh, damage output. When you have artifacts, you're able to evolve. The and I think this is maybe one of the only paywalls in the game, because even commanders, you can reinvest your earnings pretty easily to get the commanders. You could get the daily login rewards to get the commanders, but these gold artifact thingies down here that are needed to evolve. See, I can use these experience kits, you know, to level it up, and that increases the percent modifiers. And when you keep doing this, it's going to greatly power up your heroes. And you don't have to rely on RNG uh, to dictate, you know, which treasures you're going to get because you can just get the right one and just constantly upgrade it. You can use Herco, which is great. I hate it when games come out and there's like hardly anything that you can buy with the actual currency in the game. You know, they'll, they'll say, oh, you can upgrade your character with it. But the upgrades at the beginning of the game don't cost anything. And by the time the cost of those upgrades scale, you have, you're have you drowning in the currency. It's so easy to get it. So inflated it's everywhere and so you you never drive up the price and this is one of the things you can get 50 art artifact stones which is um 10 of the normal evolutions or five of the gold evolutions so it's not even really one for each teammate you know and you, you want to level them up multiple times and you can buy this pack up to 10 times for 500 stones I just want to confirm that none of the other ones, that one's got evolution stones and cells. Cells are what you use to upgrade your individual stats. Gold is used to upgrade their level. This has six novices that you could combine and some evolve stones. And um, this one right here is three novices, some gold and some wind cells. Again, wind cells are used to upgrade their individual stats. There is an event going on where if you spend any Herco, I think until June 1st, yeah, I believe it's June 1st. We'll check that on the event page. You get a 20% rebate. And I don't think it's gonna be awarded until June 
first. And so let's say you spend it, you have to spend at least 10 Herco and then you would get two back if, if you get that 20% back. And if you spent 100 Herco, you would get 20 back as, as a rebate for, I guess, the first couple of seasons. But here is the easiest way to probably get those artifact stones. And that is by purchasing a pack because you're going to get 22,000 of those stones. Uh, $10 is 74 stones. The big package, $50, 410 stones. Go in here to the trade center. You go down to resources and uh, you can get 10 stones for 6,500 of those blue Herco stones. Keep in mind, you get the red Herco stones from playing the game. The blue Herco stones, I believe the only way you can get them are, and I'm sorry if I'm not saying the right vernacular or term for these. I hope you understand what I mean. You can use those blues to get extra production boost and autoplay tickets. You can use the red ones that you earn to get extra commanders. We'll talk about commanders a little bit later. And you can use the blues to get instant summons as well. And I believe, yeah, these are unlimited. This is kind of where the NFT side of the project comes into play. You get a commander. I think when you did the pre-registration rewards, and depending on how many people you invited, you may have gotten more. So I got a commander on day two. We'll get another one on uh, day seven and we'll get another one on day 13. Now these only last like between one and three days. And then there's an also a way for you to hire them. Now this resets every day. Okay. And the vast majority of the summons are going to be common. If you look at the chances, you can see that it's 99.97% common, and you have a very small chance to get a legendary or mythical. Keep in mind that this chance changes throughout the day as there's a limited amount of rare, epics, legendary, and mythical. You use the Herco that you earn from the game, or that you take the Herco coin, and keep saying Herco, I mean the red hero stones. You can use those hero stones to draw commanders, which I might do uh, next season, actually, so I can try to get uh, rare. There is an event going on for this one as well. If you do at least three summons, I believe by the 18th, you will be able to get a guaranteed rare Natasha. Keep in mind that you can mint and then seal these NFTs, but I believe they have to be a rare or higher. Once you seal it, you'll be able to actually sell this uh, for Herco. That's the green Herco actual token on the marketplace. She gives you a 1.5% chance to get an SR hero, speeds up your hero production time slightly, gives you one extra novice deploy limit, 10% drone mining amount. Sending drones out, the higher I get, I can send more drones out up to 3,000 can send six. I think you start with one spot or two forget but you can always construct a drone a level one as long as you have one commander but if you want to get a higher level drone you have to have two commanders for a level two three commanders for a level three and this could be any variety and once you get to the rare drones you must have four commanders but at least one of them has to be epic my goal here is to stock up as many drone parts as possible and to do that get drone parts you have to have a commander equipped and it can repeat the same stage 300 different times while farming those extra drone components without advancing in stages the problem is if i advance in stages without using the stamina this drone stamina i'm going to get stuck eventually and I'm not going to get past, you know, that boss wave. If I cannot power up my heroes within 300 chances, 300 waves, and beat that person, then I'm not going to be able to get any more drone parts. So I'm going to probably wait until like the last two or three days, and then I'll just start using all of my gold, all of my artifact coins, like everything that I have saved up. I'm really trying to stall because I don't know what super rare, secret rare evolutions that I'm going to get. And the more heroes that you summon, the higher your hero level combined score becomes. See how it's 16 out of 50? That's how far I need to get to level 4. And you can see at level 3, I have a 10% chance to get an SR and a 3% chance to get an SSR. Your commanders 
uh, your hero level, that's going to have a major impact, but you're not going to be able to get this hero level up until much later in this season. So my goal is to level up this hero combined score, get highly evolved SR and SSR heroes, and then try to pump those up as much as possible while wasting as little resources as possible, leveling up these people who probably won't all be in my final army that I try to push the high score with. I hope that makes sense. I know that was a very long drawn out explanation as to why I suck and I'm in rank 4,400 in first place, but I assure you it's, it is calculated. Like I won't finish this badly, but I don't really care if I do, because like I said, I'm going, unless I break the top 100, I'm going to get the exact same season rewards. As long as you have two of two different types of elements or four of one type of elements, you'll get uh, a reward. But every reward is the same. Product purchase, when you do the uh, permanent autoplay, you'll get 160,000 hero stones. Now, it does not say if they're red or blue. The text is blue. The picture is blue. But that's the picture of the autoplay cube. Anyway, it's not over until June 1st, so we won't even get the rewards this season, which is part of my strategy of going for the top 100 in the second season when people are hopefully burnt out, spending less, when they realize they spent, you know, 600 Herco and only 150. They might not be as aggressive in that second season. 40,000 Hero Stones for doing the Super Premium. I almost clicked it. I didn't. I'm proud. Uh, hero rebate I talked about. You got to spend at least 10 Herco. You'll get 20% back. It does not say if a Herco can be subdivided. I'm not sure if they take fees. I would expect it has to be subdivided unless you pay the fees in WeMix or with like these red hero stones. But many of their store prices are on sale and at an odd number like one or nine. So how can you get like a 20% rebate on 13? 20% of that would be 2.6. So would you get 2.6 Herco? Would you get three Herco? Would you get two and a middle finger? I don't, I don't know. So that has yet to be determined. And then let's go to this event page because we always need two event pages, guys. That's, that's a great idea. Um, I am going to register a recruiter, but I actually found out about the game from the We Made press release. And so I emailed uh, We Made CEO uh, Henry Chang, and he hasn't responded back with his player ID yet. So I'm going, if he doesn't respond, I'm just going to give it out to whoever says their recruiter code in the comments. I will pick a random code from those comments 48 hours after it's posted, and I will plug your code into here live on stream. I don't care if it's live on, I don't know. I'll do it and you'll get the stuff and it will help you out. Okay, so you help me out with the algorithm, like the video, subscribe, and put your code down there in the comments and I will randomly select it from all the comments and one of you will get one of these rewards, I, I don't know. So yeah, if you get one invite, you get two level 10 novices, extra commander from a second, extra four. Thank you for using my codes, whoever did. I put this on YouTube and Discord. Thank you very much. The Super Premium gives you 5,000 extra dudes every day. So you run out of dudes and it, and you don't get any more dudes, I believe. But if you have Super Premium and you've run out of dudes, you keep getting dudes at a slower rate. You get extra novice slots plus seven. I think that just means how many people you can have on the screen at one time, but what do I know? Uh, constant double 
production boost. So you're always doubling your production. Tier 10 novice times two, uh, 300 gold artifact coins, a production boost ticket every day, and 500 silver artifact coins every day. And this lasts for 30 days, again, 50 cents per day. You also have a freebie where you could watch videos, uh, five videos. It's a lot of video watching. Two tier 10 heroes, production boost ticket, 50 of the goldens, and 100,000 gold coins. So this is where you refine the hero stones. Can't refine the blue hero stones. I think those can only be used to trade for items, even though both blue and red hero stones seem to traverse from one season to the next. You're limited to uh, 30 refinements per day, which would be 600,000 red hero stones. And then it will reset with the server. You need at least 40,000 to refine. So even though I could refine one, I would need at least 40,000. Let me know if you guys think this is a bad strategy, if I shouldn't be sandbagging like this to get extra drone material. The thing is, is I'm never going to have, you know, three commanders all the time. If I do, it's only going to be in that overlapping expiration period, and I'm going to try to crank out as many drones as possible. That's why, like, I might even slow down tomorrow, and instead of, like, running four drones at a time, I may only run two drones. And that way I should have twice as many materials saved up to build those level 2 drones because I have a feeling it's going to be like twice as many hero stones. I'm not sure about that. Let me know if you've done the level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 drones and uh, how that's worked out for you. It's Danny Draghi. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can do this again sometime. We will start combining some heroes. Oh yeah, I can't tap them on the screen. I always forget. What do I get? Ling Ling. Got way too many Ling Lings. I'm sorry, Ling Ling. I'm going to have to dismiss you. Pierre, you got to go as well. Never liked your cooking. And you can go too services will no longer be needed.